Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Thursday, May 18th, 2023. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy Thursday, everyone. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Again, very quiet price action here in, uh, in overnight trading. We did get a little bit of a move higher into the previous highs, and so far we have seen a higher high failure above those levels and back below those highs we go. Uh, this could be the initial rejection here that brings us back toward the midpoint here called a fade after trend day idea here. Uh, yesterday's squeeze was tremendous back to the top of this narrow range, but a failure here could bring us back to the middle of the range of the previous session, and that's going to be 41.49 half. Now, if this market's going to remain bullish here, any pullback into that zone could be defended for an attempt back up, and maybe perhaps we continue higher toward the key range high, given yesterday's squeeze. But first things first, any rejection of the previous session's high could pull back, uh, cause a pullback into the previous session's range toward that midpoint. We take a look here at the NQ. You'll see right here the NQ remains very strong. Uh, very, very bullish right now. No fading opportunities here really to speak of. Obviously, right now we are seeing a little bit of a rejection of the previous session's high. And like the ES, that could lead to a fade after trend day back toward the midpoint. But this market has lagged on, on the way down and has led on the way up. Very, very strong right now. So at the moment here, while a pullback may be seen, got to be cautious selling the NQ. Very, very strong at the moment. Very bullish Pima trigger zone. And if we do get a pullback here, it could be a buying opportunity for a continuation up until proven otherwise. The key level to watch here is going to be how does the price respond here to the previous year's midpoint, 13.524. Any failure to hold that level down the road could uh, ultimately lead to a pullback up ahead. If we take a look here at crude oil, you'll notice here with crude oil, this one's been quite bullish here in the previous session. We had a rejection off the previous year's low there. That rejection of prices of the previous session's midpoint started to push through that mid, and we mentioned it could become a bullish outside day up with the potential to be a stop run day. Very close to a stop run day, very solid uh, outside reversal. You see the signal here from the outside reversal. That right there is now uh, a very bullish set up here for a continuation higher. Today, very narrow range so far, 24% of average range, just 68 cents of range so far today. The pullback into the previous session's midpoint is going to be important here. Any pullback toward that 71.65 could offer a buying opportunity for a continuation to 74s, recent highs, and then again to that final target zone up above that 76 to 77 zone with some overshot toward 80 half up ahead. So right now, a little bit of a pullback day, digestive day. Bulls will look to defend either today or tomorrow for a shot higher. If we take a look here at gold futures, you'll notice right now with gold, this one reached the 1980 level that we've mentioned before. 1980 being the other side of this range here. Right there, we got it. Um, yesterday, didn't look like that was day one rejection. It did reach the target here, but it looked like we might still need to go see some rejection down below. We have the previous month's low here at about 1967 or so. We have the 1960 edge. And uh, the early idea was when we were dropping here that we would likely drop into 1980. And if we see a rejection between 1960 and 1980, that could be the next buying opportunity that takes us back up to the FOMC level above at 2033. So right now, still looking for that strong low, still trending lower. We could be coming into a point here where a rejection develops either today or tomorrow. But you got to take out this low here. Got to got to reach that 1960, and then we'll see if a rejection can develop. If so, could be a great snapback toward 2033 up above. Lastly, looking at the YM. The YM had a tremendous squeeze in the previous session. Uh, this was a, a, a great MGR signal on the ETF as well, gapping through the mid and running higher the rest of the time. For today, heading into the day, watching the previous session's high for rejection, 
for a fade after trend day back toward the midpoint here at about 33,300. So far, we have a higher high failure today. Two, two tests at the previous session's high have been rejected. In pre-market trading, that higher high could lead to, again, more weakness down below. Now, given the squeeze we've seen here, especially off 33k that's going to be the key level right there if at some point down the road we break 33 it's going to open up some downside but holding this level and staying above it for example this squeeze here can price continue back up toward 33.8 and retest the FOMC above or does this level right here does this rejection lead us to uh, another attempt down below that's going to be decided here at around 33,300 that's around that midpoint the previous close here previous low all of that right there that confluence of levels will tell us a lot any failure at 33.3 and you may be looking at more downside ahead so right now fade after trend day rejection of the previous high with a shot to return back toward the midpoint and then ideally bulls will defend that zone otherwise we could be looking at more weakness ahead on a swing basis all right that is it for now we'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session good luck trade well and i'll see you in the trading room take care